Hey everybody, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. If you like making money, this is the channel for you. Click subscribe, give me a thumbs up for this content. Today I'm gonna go over Westwater Resources. It's a company that's a graphite company that I think is positioned pretty well for this next, I will call it graphite expansion phase where we're gonna hit deficits trying to produce a lot of batteries. And graphite by the US government is considered a strategic material. So I think these guys are positioned pretty well. They're based in the United States and they're gonna be producing. So they're, they're gonna put in processing plants and also mine graphite. So let's jump in. I'm gonna show you what we're looking at for Westwater Resources. This is Westwater Resources uh, page. I'm on the investor section and I'm looking at their latest business plan. I'm going in here and this is directly where I think we have the value. It says the Westwater Resources Advantage. Our business plan is to develop a battery graphite manufacturing business in Alabama that produces advanced, high quality and high margin products for battery manufacturers. Our ultra CSPG product alone after product uh, production ramp up starting in 2023 is expected to enable the production of over 85,000 electric automobiles. Uh, critical steps in the business plan are <clears throat> constructing a processing facility that manufactures three battery graphite products to service the lithium ion, alkaline, power cell, and lead acid battery markets. The construction is planned for 2022 based upon pilot plants results developed in quarter four 2020 and quarter one 2021. <clears throat> this facility intends to use our proprietary process for which we have applied for a patent for purification along with sizing, shaping, and other processes we are testing in our pilot plant. Westwater has secured a supply agreement for graphite concentrate that supports production through mine construction scheduled for 2028. These are the post-processing purified graphite into three components. These are the three components. Um, <clears throat> one other thing, so uh, to execute this critical function, we have non-disclosure agreements in place with potential customers and products uh, at some of these entities for pre-qualification testing. They're developing a new graphite mine planned for startup in 2028. And that's why if you look up here, they've got agreements in for till 2028 um, to, su to supply their processing plant. Uh, so in plan for startup in 2028 are 40,000 plus acre mineral rights holdings that can serve as a hedge against future feedstock costs and provide in-house quality assurance and quality control for raw material inputs. You go on down here, they're talking about the CUSA graphite project plan and economics uh, pilot plant startup uh, expected in quarter four 2020, generating products for pre-qualification in large batches to facilitate sales contracts. Exploration designed to expand Westwater's vanadium discovery at CUSA begins in 2021. Full-scale plant startup expected on purchase feedstock in 2022, producing battery graphite. And then you've got mining to begin in 2028. The project economics are here below. Uh, Pre-tax internal rate of return of 36%. Vanadium exploration can enhance these economics. And you can see that on page 84. This is the CUSA project cash flow in millions. You can see that they're going to have some cash flow expenditures, the CapEx, uh, and then the mine operation built from cash flow in 2027. So they're expecting to use cash flow from the processing plant to, to fund the CUSA project, which is the graphite project for mining. This is what the cash flow looks like. So it looks, looks excellent to me for a, an investment. Remember, uh, the the markets are forward looking so they're going to start pricing this in they got the processing plant that's coming online here shortly and then we've got uh the project in 2028 for the mine so this is looking pretty good now what about the fundamental or the uh, technicals on this so the technicals look fantastic i did a video a day or two ago on westwater and what i look for in an entry point so westwater from a technical basis looks very good it's putting in a cup and handle pattern it's putting in that handle right now it's at the bottom of the handle so if you're an ultra aggressive investor <clears throat> now would be a time to look at it uh, if you want to wait and buy on the breakout which is a lot lower risk then i would wait and look for that handle to complete to go to the upside and i can obviously 
chart this all out technically. So what I'm seeing is a very strong chart technically for Westwater Resources. And I'm seeing that the fundamentals match the strength of the technicals. And, and when looking at the market balance in the future for graphite, that also looks incredibly good a couple years out, four, five, six years out. So I think this is all aligning. I think they're coming online at a perfect time for this expansion phase. Uh, not, not, yeah, expansion phase in real estate, but for more production coming from graphite. And I think these guys can, can fill that need. If you guys like this content, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.